Hey guys, I'm Steve. Have you been wanting to remodel your bathroom, but don't know where to start? Well, let's get into it. We're gonna transform this ordinary bathroom into a modern work of art. This is Flipping Johannesburg. This bathroom is outdated and it's showing its age. There's leaks, the vanities are warping, and so we are going to bring this design into the 21st century. So as you can see, there's a bit of a design flaw here and the water leaks, and it's because this little ridge should be sloping inwards. So this is a problem that will be sorted out. While chopping out the bathroom tiles, the guys hit a water pipe which flooded the bathroom. This set us back a day. So this is the tile we're going to use for the shower floor. I wanted to go for something a little bit more modern than the, the standard square mosaic tile. But the problem with tiling this tile as a whole is you won't have any grip on the shower floor and there's nothing worse than having a slippery shower floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this tile into its four quadrants, keeping the pattern, and then cut each quadrant up into threes after that. So that solves the grip problem. The new plaster started cracking badly on the one wall, which we solved with polyfiller, and we used fans to speed up the drying process. We may hit the park, we may not. <laughs> we'll know in a bit if there's water spraying out of here. So seven days later, the dream bathroom was completed. My idea was to keep it very simple and subtle, a timeless design that in 20 years time is still modern and this was such an opportunity for me to bring my vision to life of what a modern bathroom should look like. So the bathroom is predominantly white with black accents and a bit of the natural wood colour coming through as well as some green. So it's a very Scandinavian inspired design. So the floor tile is a grey 600 by 600 with a textured look quite large which makes the space look bigger and the shower floor is where I've got inventive with cutting a large 600 by 600 tile into pieces keeping the pattern but solving the grip problem for the shower floor and it looks great so you'll see the black accents, shower glass, taps, all the accessories contrast really beautifully with the white 
So the natural wood color of the vanities in conjunction with the green of the plants really tie in that organic look. So this was basically level on the old shower which caused any water to leak out of the shower. So I've sloped this inwards so that any excess water drains back into the shower, solving the leakage problem. So this is my bespoke shower niche design. Functional and beautiful and a space saver. So no more rickety shower racks.